my name is Yaneli and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be painting. Um, I'm going to be painting a frame for my house and then I'll, I'll be painting a canvas for my sister's house. Um, for the frame, I'm going to be using gray, black, white, gold since that's like the theme around my house and their house is more of a brown tones. So I'll be using different kinds of browns for their canvas. And um, I just thought about like doing a painting because in the past I had painted these right here with my kids. So I painted this one right here and then I, my kids painted that one. My daughter was around two and then my son was a few months old so he was crawling already. So sorry if you guys hear my kids. Um, usually when I'm recording they're either like next to me somewhere or they're in front of me. So sorry if you guys hear them um but yeah anyways uh so yeah i love these frames because like if you guys see closely in this one like um you can see like little handprints and little footprints from my kids and i don't know i feel like that makes it like even more special like i already know they did it so like that's already special enough for me but the fact that i go and like see the little handprints and the little footprints like i don't know i love it so i was just like well why not like do another painting for my house so i'm gonna use a different technique for this one i'll be using honestly i don't even know what it's called sorry about that um but it's basically like you get like different kinds of paints and you throw them on there and then you just get the blow dryer and you blow dry the paint like to whatever direction you like and yeah like you could get pretty creative and stuff like that um adding more colors or let or like just leaving it as it is so i never done this but i don't think i can mess up we'll see so if you're interested in seeing how it all goes down and how they turn out keep on watching here's the canvas that we'll be using today and here's the frame here as you can see I use push pins to put on each corner of the canvas. This is just to elevate the canvas so whenever the acrylic paint drips, it won't get all the edges like nasty and messy. And here are the different kinds of browns that I'll be using for the painting for my sisters. As you can see, I have prepared some cups with water and I'll be mixing these two together. And the reason being is because acrylic paint is pretty thick and the thicker it is, it's harder to move around. So it's just better to mix it with the water so it will be more like manageable. And after you finish mixing or pouring all the colors in the water, you'll be mixing all of them one by one. And now we'll be using the white paint as a base for our canvas. And don't worry about those little air bubbles because they will go away. Just make sure that you get the white paint all over the canvas. Even though I know sometimes it's hard to see, just make sure you get it evenly all over the canvas and on the edges too. Once you finish setting your white paint all over the canvas, you'll start pouring on your paint. And you could go any direction you want, go vertical, horizontal, any way you want. I just decided to go from corner to corner. And you pour your paint as you please. You could go like one color then the next color but i'm here here as you can see i did like yellow on both sides of the brown and then one brown on one side and the other tone of brown on the other side and you know just pour it however you want or however if you have a vision of how you want it to look just go for that either way there's no way of messing up messing the painting Now it's time to start using your blow dryer. So you'll be blowing air in whatever direction that you want to spread your paint. 
And like I said, the thicker the pain is, the harder it, the harder it is to manage. Like right there, the brown pain, I feel like it was a little hard to move around because I was trying to get it like higher in the canvas, but it took me a little longer to move it where the rest of the pain over here in the middle, it's easier to move around because it's more watery. Yeah, just spread your paint around. Here, I'll be adding some gold glitter. I asked my sister if she wanted some gold glitter and she said, yeah, it was fine. And then I decided to add a little bit of black and a little bit of white. Um, that's the thing about this. You could add glitter or you could add more paint or a different color paint. If you feel like it's missing something, just add whatever you think it's missing. But one thing I did realize, like the white paint was like getting a little dry just from sitting there while it, I was painting the rest. So it was a little hard to move around as you can see. But here on the top, like or more towards the middle, like it was a little bit more wet from the other paint that was previously there. I feel like it's easier to move around like the middle part of the canvas. But still, like, it, it was getting more, like, on the thicker side just from sitting in the cup. So just keep that in mind. The thicker it gets or the drier your paint gets, it's just going to be harder to move around. And here I decided to add a little bit of more brown paint just to finish it off. So now we're moving on to the next paint. These are the colors that I'll be using for the frame. Now I'll be using cardboard for the next painting. Um, this is an experiment. I didn't know if the cardboard was going to work or not. But right here, so far, so good. It was easier for me to see where I was um, putting the white paint, which is the base of the painting. But let me tell you, it was not a good idea using the, white, the cardboard because... Um, as soon as I got all the cardboard painted, um, it literally started like curving up for some reason. I don't know. I guess that's just the way it works when it's wet. It literally started curving up. So obviously it was like something I didn't want. And it just made my painting go a whole different direction than what I was expecting especially after painting the canvas but I mean you live and you learn um, at least now I know that I won't be using cardboard for future paintings if any so yeah Okay, so once you're done putting the base down, just like with the canvas, you are going to start pouring your paint again. Um, remember how I told you guys about the canvas, like, you know, the thicker it is or if your paint is drying up that, you know, it's harder for you to manage or like move your paint around and stuff. Well... Like I said, this painting over here was more of an experiment. Um, I did this one a little bit thicker. And yeah, it wasn't a good idea. It definitely was harder to move around. And like I said, like the cardboard was 
curving so as you can see the paint is running to the sides and when I started blow drying the paint just pushing the air, the paint around as you can see this one's really not moving around it really wasn't a good idea to make this mixture on the thicker side it was so much harder to move it around it honestly didn't even feel like it was really moving as you can see here compared to when I did the canvas so here I'm adding some gold paint and I also mix more paint with water just so it could be more like watery since I had made it thicker and it really wasn't doing what it was supposed to and since the cardboard is still curved like the as soon as I pour the paint like it started running to the sides so I decided to put something to make the cardboard flat again and I'm doing what I need to do to make this work but as you can see this one has some weird um little vein looking things from the paint just running down to the sides but I guess we'll see how it looks once it dries up. Dun, 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 dun. So here they are. This is how they look. All nice and finished. Sorry that the lighting is not that great. I mean, by the time they dry, the sun did go down a little bit. here we have it this is the end result i honestly really like how they came out um in my opinion the canvas came out nicer but i mean a canvas is meant to be painted so obviously i feel like the end results are going to look nicer on it compared to me using like the cardboard ba uh, backing of the like frame since like it's not an expensive frame i bought it at walmart so i literally instead of just finding something to paint I just got the back of the cardboard like part or whatever you want to call it and I literally just painted that and like you get free you can see like different textures and like little bumps of the like the cardboard and stuff but honestly it doesn't bother me I thought it was gonna bother me knowing myself how I am that little stuff like that bug bug me sorry they bug me but honestly it really doesn't bug me like I'm so glad that it doesn't bug me because that means I don't have to do it again and I am really happy with the results like I thought it was gonna look pretty cool because of like the little veins that just like literally like leak down and like look like that but I'm okay with it I honestly like it I like how the colors came out I like how the gold in it came out um I don't like I feel like the camera picks up more like of a yellow but it's actually like gold it, it looks nice in person while well, it's I think so and then with my sisters like that's not gold that's more of a yellow color back there which I feel like it kind of looks the same but theirs is actually more of a yellow color and um I don't know I just feel like everything turned out good I hope that you guys enjoy my video I hope that you guys try it I feel like it's tons of fun and I mean you can't go wrong you really can't go wrong. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one.